I want to talk about subdomains because some people have asked me the question about when should I or should I not? So you've got your domain, let's pretend, websquadron.co.uk, and you now want to create almost like a brother or a sister site to that. So it might be that you've got your main website, but you're now going to create a shopping website, but you want to keep them separated because it might be that you have completely different plugins or you might have different membership. Or you might just have loads of stuff on one website and you're a bit worried about, oh, I'm going to add on another thousand images and there's now going to be more admin users on the main website. But in actual fact, I don't want them on the main website. So let's say you're going to create a totally different shopping website. Look at Web Squadron. We have a totally different domain per se for our learning elemental website course website now. Learn.websquadron.co.uk. We could have done academy dot websquadron shop dot education dot private information dot. You can do what you want. The idea behind a subdomain is it allows you to separate and have a completely different look and feel. You could have one website in Elementor, another website in Bricks, another website in Breakdance, another website in Gutenberg. Your subdomains allow you to split off. But what's really good about doing a subdomain is that they all end with dot websquadron.co.uk. Whereas if you were to go and buy a completely different domain, I mean, which I could have done, I could have gone for learningwebsquadron.co.uk, but then that bit at the end is now different to my main website. And I always say that as part of your identity, if you're trying to keep things like intact and together, subdomains are your friend. I mean, my contact email is info at websquadron.co.uk. It's the same email for learn.websquadron.co.uk because it's the ending is still the same. So subdomains on a lot of host providers, you can get as part of your package. You don't have to go and buy another domain. You know, I mean, uh, on SiteGround, I think I did in total about six different subdomains. I don't share them with everyone because I use them for private business purposes. The two I do put out there are the Web Squadron and the learn.websquadron. In fact, the testing website I use is called website.websquadron. I've also got one for Bricks, where I do Bricks tutorials, which is bricks.websquadron. And I've got a couple more as well. So it allows me to have multiple domains that's easy to manage because they all sit in the same place. I'm not having to buy another domain. But if you ever want to have like a, a website, and then you want to have one that is exclusively for real estate or for shopping or a business directory, but you want to almost maintain the reputation and the brand that you've built up, Subdomain is your friend. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that